What's up, guys? This is Church Line Series Part 1, Episode 1, Series 1. So, before I begin, I just want to make it clear that I am not here to bash any religious institution or religion. Um, they have their purpose, and if taken correctly, it could lead us to light instead of keeping us from the light. The term religion itself means return to bondage. So if you can go to a religious institution and not return to bondage, then you've already found the light. But if not, you have to be careful what you ingest from religious institutions because it can be misleading. So I started this series only because people are very confused about what to take from religious institutions. I'm not saying don't go, but just be careful what you ingest. Uh, I had a dream. I'm a dreamer. I have dreams. I have messages from my ancestors, from spirit guides, from God, and dreams. And just like last night, a few hours ago, I had a dream. It was this creature, and he was putting people under spells. These people um, were able to be put under those spells because they did not protect their eyes. And for me, spirit was telling me to continue to protect my eyes and my son's eyes. So that we would not be put under the spell. And during the dream, it was my job, and I did, to remove, to cure the people that were under the spell. So in order to do so, I had to throw up on his face. I think I seduced him or something, and then I threw up on his face and cured people from the spell. So what does this mean? In the dream, also, there were men. There were two sets. There were men. They had twins. And each time I was holding their twins, um, they told me to... They were talking about their daughters, take care of their daughters, how they're taking care of their daughters. Several meanings in this dream, and I'll just point um, a couple of them out. First of all, the twins, they're referring to in the dreams, divine feminine. They want to protect their spirit. The, the fem it's not about gender, but it's just how we re reference it. Um, the divine feminine is your spirit self, your, the other part of yourself, you have the body, your hands, your working, your effort, the energy that you put into your projects, creating and things of that sort is your masculine energy that has been inspired by your feminine energy, which is your spirit. So in this dream, they protected their spirit. The spiritual meaning of eyes, dreaming about protecting my eyes, not just my physical eyes, but my spirit. It also means my spirit, my connection to spirit, my powers, um, again, and my spirit self. So the difference between me and the people who were put under the spells is that I had protection over my eyes. My son, protection over his eyes. And it is my job to protect my eyes, my spirit, and my son's spirit. What else in the dream that was important? The throw up meant to remove negative beliefs, remove negativity and beliefs from, the, from yourself. So I took that as... To cure other people, I have to, it's my job, my part of my purpose, clearly, if it's coming to me in my dreams, to help people to remove those negative beliefs that are keeping them from, that are putting them under a spell that they shouldn't be under, which is bondage. If you're under a spell, that's bondage. It's keeping you from your true self. And when you're one with your spirit, you're one with your true self. So... I just wanted to point that out, the reason why I'm doing this before I start the series, so people won't think that I'm just bashing the Christian religion or any religion for that matter. I'm not bashing anyone. These um, religions and spiritual figures have helped me to evolve into my higher self, and I'm still evolving. So I'm not bashing it. I'm just doing my job to remove those beliefs that are not conducive to you, um, protecting your eyes. So, part one, I just, this is going to be very short today, and today's topic is going to be God is not a male. I would say God is not a man, human, but that's not true because at, you and I are representations of God on earth, especially if you're one with your spirit self, then you're God on earth because your divine feminine is connected to God, and therefore it's God. So... To be a representation on God on earth, you be your one with your feminine energy. But I just want to say that God is not male. We use these pronouns and they introduce us to God through 
pronouns like he, like um, his, and things of that sort, and father, and son. Son does not mean male, S-O-N. Son means, you can't even say soul and luna. You can say the sun, S-U-N. But it just means a representation of God on earth. Divine masculine and divine feminine together. Being one with your spirit and being one with God. Being one with your feminine energy and your masculine energy and one with God. That's what that means. Um, you can say Jesus was a male, but you can also say, I don't want to go too far on this series because people are definitely not going to understand. But you can call Jesus, you can say you don't believe in Jesus, but at the end of the day, it's, um, it's just the blueprint to being a representation of God on earth. And that's what the different religions try to teach. But God is not a man in, in the form of a male. Um, so when they introduce us to God and they only use he, his, they're lying. That's called a lie. Because they perpetuate this idea that the male gender um, is somehow superior to the female gender. Or that God is or chose or prefers the male gender and that's not true so church lies part one to protect your eyes you first must understand that there are things that have been taught to you that are not real and one of those things is that god is a male and god is not male so if you can take in information and go to a religious institution institution and you can use he um to refer to god and you know that god is not male that's fine but don't feel bad if you or someone else use she in reference to God. Because if you're just using any pronoun to reference God, just to reference God, why not use she? All right, so I'll leave it at that. And that is Church Lives, part one. Peace.